Hey, and you recently, just a few minutes ago, won the uh, the, the 10-year award for taking the most 4-H projects during your 10 years. What projects have you been involved in the last um, 10 years? Scrapbooking, foods, collections, woodworking, arts and crafts, dog poster, health poster, and Okay, and what, what motivated you to want to take so many projects during the last decade? <laughs> well, they all just seemed really fun, so I just kept doing them, and then the more and more I started doing more projects, the more fun it seemed. And it's always fun to send as many projects as you can see. And what do you think, of all the projects you've been involved in, what's been the most memorable project? Probably foods. Foods? And why is that? Uh, just because I got to make a variety of foods that I don't normally make and they've done really well. And, uh, I've made like an invented snack that's like a huge market plan, so if all else fails, I know where to do it. <laughs> and what advice might you have for some of the younger 4-H kids who are here watching tonight, who may be only in their first or second year, in terms of staying involved? Um, never give up on the projects you start. Um, even though you might not do so good one year, you end up doing really good the next, so just stay in it and I promise it's worth it. Okay. And kind of a, a general question here, but um, you know, what does this award mean to you? Um, it just, like, it's all my hard work that I put into 4-H and it kind of just pays off just to know that I learned as much as I could through 4-H. Okay, what's up state? What's next for you? Where are you headed to? Um, I am going to attend the University of Northwestern Ohio for auto diesel and hybrid. Okay. And just like Alexander, you also were recognized tonight for taking the most projects during the 10 years. What are some of the main projects you've been involved in the last decade? Uh, some of my main projects were electric, woodworking, goat, poultry, small engines, junior leaders, uh, model, strawberry, potato. Uh -huh. Quite a bit. Yes. <laughs> and what motivated you to keep so involved? Because it is quite a bit of work. Um, it kept me involved. Uh, what motivated me was knowing that I could make something on my own and that it could go to State Fair and share it with the world, basically. Very good. And uh, when you, when, you know, how did your parents react? And, or when, you know, it sounds like you knew ahead of time that you were going to get the award. How did your parents respond when they found out you were going to be recognized tonight? For uh, well, my parents were happy because, uh, like my older sister, she also won the award. Yeah. And so I'm calling to following her footsteps. But uh, they're really happy to know that I've learned so much through 4-H. My advice for younger 4-Hers would, if you don't do so good on a project your first year, try it again. And just because, uh, someone else wants you to take it, don't do your projects for someone else. Do your projects for you. Very good advice. Very, very good advice. Uh, this award shows uh, to me all the hard work I've put in and uh, how it pays off and how hard work pays off.